waiting, Earth beings. I am a Cylon Centurion. My mission is to destroy the Battlestar Galactica by your command. This is a personal record by Commander Automa of the Battlestar Galactica. The Cylons have been a horror to the colonies since we were forced to flee from Caprica several yarns ago. Looking back to my earliest days at the Academy, I wondered why the Cylons became so devious towards the human race. I feel I must ask this question because we, the human race, have equaled their hatred for other life forms, even the Cylons themselves. When I studied at the academy to become a colonial warrior, I knew of the Cylons and their hatreds towards other life forms. When I was a very young boy, I can remember when the first Cylons were created by our own race to be servants to us. Over time, they became self-sufficient and designed higher forms of mechanisms that replaced their own functions as servants, thereafter becoming the serve to those same machines that created them. Humans then became the unwanted vermin that was to be exterminated, according to their perceptions of life in the universe. I always invade our scientists, that they could create such mechanical devices like these Cylons. That alternating red scanner eye that could see many scent ions in all directions, their abilities to resist all types of environmental hazards that we humans could never overcome. I see my own warriors now wanting to annihilate the Cylons, but could our own scientists still reach into the Cylon programming and reinstate their basic need of human resolve to help and serve, not kill all life? I can only hope that someday we will be able to reach them, but until then it is obvious we will never have peace with machines that had outgrown their own levels of superiority towards humans. A footnote to this video, in Battlestar Galactic Eraser, there is only one part that had the original Cylons and it was a mini-episode where the warrior was falling after being hit by a Cylon raider. The Cylon also ejected and was shooting at the warrior. Then they both lost their weapons, except the Cylon who exposed a knife that he would have used but the warrior pulled his parachute. The Cylon landed through a kind of glass roof and the warrior bashed the Cylon with a metal pipe until it stopped functioning. Were there ever any episodes in the remake series of Battlestar Galactica from the past decade, where they showed the original Cylons other than this one-time mini-episode from Razor. By your command, we sent a base craft to rendezvous with the warship. We exist that the Cylon Empire destroy all human life form. By your command, Globe Leader, transmitting information. Less than five centons to attack. Cylon Centurion. My mission is to destroy the Battlestar Galactica by your command. By your 
cavalli. Thirteen generations ago, our overpopulated world built the Southern Sun, a self-sufficient spaceship that would be home to thousands of migrants for the 10 light year journey to a new and uncolonized world. Our current descendants have come to accept the Southern Sun as their home and work for a better future for their children. Sun, located rescue beacon and survivors. They are all female and identify themselves as Valerians. We have initiated landing procedures and are returning to base. You will enter the Southern Sun in figures five millennium and your docking bay is one niner. Over. Roger, shuttle lancer locked to guidance control. successful. Valerian survivors disembarking. Attention all hands. Shuttle landing complete. Prepare for incoming Stingray Viper Squadron. Red 2, Southern Sun in sight. Bye, Dad. Bye, bye. Bye, Scott. Bye. Southern Sun, we are starting our landing sequence. Southern Sun, aboard landing. We have pirates coming up fast on our tail. Stingray 2 to Stingray 3, we are under fire. Prepare for defense formation. Roger, Stingray 2. Stingray 1, assuming defense formation. We'll cover for you and the professor. What's going on out there? Look out, Red 3. Red 3 is down. Damn it. Pirate ship eliminated. Attention all hands, man your battle stations, we're under attack. Pirate ship eliminated. Recalling Stingray fighters. Roger, Southern Sun, this is Red 2, we're on our way. Rescue mission status. Shuttle Lancer has safely returned with unidentified female survivors who call themselves Polarians. An approaching squadron of Stingrays under command of David Ryder are under pirate attack. Ryder carries Professor Thomas Spooner as a passenger. Laser scanner activated. Ryder, this one's mine. I'm on it. Eleventh pirate ship destroyed. I got it. I say go away, you bother me. 